the poor, the farmer. That's the only thing that's been spoken about in the world. Elon Musk even uh, chipped in. You South Africans are just too ignorant. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Nox and Marubi Unfiltered. I'm Nox, he's Marubi. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's enjoy the show. Stand up, South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run, South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that they need to be counted. You must be counted. You must be part of history. You must make sure that you are one of the people who are going to deliver economic freedom in our lifetime. Freedom in our lifetime. Amanda! 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 Had he, won. He's won. He won. Like okay. He won. He won the day. People are. Okay. All he has to do is just walk off stage. Okay. Let people go and enjoy the concert okay. and all that. Man, Malema sings a song. I'm like, ah. What's the song? Kill the boor, kill the farmer. Kill the boor, the farmer. Kill the boor, the farmer. Brr, pa. He sings that song. Oh my God! You guys want this guy to be president? Okay. No, 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 no. He listen okay. to you. Even listening to. What Are you I'm legit? Saying. Are you no, being serious? To what I'm saying. Okay. I don't think you've been listening to what I'm saying. Okay. He goes and say, I'm like, what? what? I'm like, I didn't hear this part. When, oh when, was it? when was it? Oh Did... my God! And that's, I listened the to the only, whole speech. That's the whole thing. That's the only thing that's been spoken about in the world. Elon Musk even uh, chipped in. Julius Malema is the demagogue of the utmost in this country. By demagogue, for people that do not know, because South Africa, in all honesty, it is time that someone said it. We are a very... What? You're about to stop me. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Because uh, uh, before you get angry, so, uh, so that I can get some light stuff out. Uh, by the way, the, there's no white genocide there's no white people getting genocide in south africa that's i just wanted to say that because you can't say that for the farmers now can oh, yeah, no, look, look, because yeah. the farmers oh, get yes. attacked no, very no, often saying, right no, no the thing is like people are killing white people in south africa no, no, no. white people aren't getting killed in south africa. people are fine yeah because because you know because the song has a Another meaning, just that you know, no one is gonna take time to look into that. No, a poor is not actually. Yeah, so yeah, if a poor is just a farmer actually. Yeah, so someone, yeah. someone who, yeah, so who the farms. The thing he was thinking he was explaining because there's a video of uh, Peter Mugabe explaining the meaning of the song and all, but no one is gonna take time to look into that. This is in the first place not a slogan. It is a chant, a chant that was there as part of the tradition of our military struggles, armed struggle. We sang it, or we chanted it, in order to steal ourselves in training, in order to sustain our solidarity. The question of Boa has changed in content on the basis of the realities of the situation and our policy. It has always meant the enemy as a system of white supremacy and has never meant any individual on the basis of this or that color. And say We all know what yeah. he's referring to though. That's the problem. The problem is there's a common conception of what a boor is. Yeah, no, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, no one, like, people are not gonna go and look and do that. It's, it's just gonna be... No, he said it then gonna, what are you trying to no, do I'm now? just no I'm just, I'm just what, what is no, it that you're I, trying no, to do I'm just saying you should have just left the stage and no I, okay, I'm no. trying to see it seems as if you are trying to justify no, what he I'm said not, I'm not justifying then anything. what are you trying to no, say I'm just saying no I'm, just, I'm telling you about the Peter no Gabba people are going oh, Peter, nah, yeah. what, what, what are you trying to say no, no I'm saying this look Angisha Malema look Malema doesn't want to kill white people we can both agree on that. I don't know that. Yeah, but come on, he has. A, and lately, he has, he has lately, a, has with a, all the policies that he's putting out there, he has a, he's trying to kill them. I mean, come on, he has. He has always his lawyers. Okay, wise. wait. Can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? Okay. Land without expropriation. Oh no! Look, wait. Is that not okay. killing the white people? No, I'm just saying killing. Okay, them. nationalizing the banks is that not killing the white people? No. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No. 
Free education. Wait, look, let me look, let me show look. you something. I'm just saying, like, now here's where here's where people are, are gonna be like, oh no, but Marupe, no. How are you? How are you saying free? Ed-? Okay, is free education not killing the white people? Listen, uh, wait, hear, let me no, ask you. My thing is, I hear. What, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just saying in the in the literal sense of just saying genocide to okay. white people. Let, no, that's let, people just no 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 no. It's a like, no, no no no. I hear what not I hear a literal point. sense, I, I but in you. a figurative way, okay, he is literally point. killing white. People. I hear your point. And here's, wh- and here's why I say free education is killing white people. Okay. If you enable free education in a developing country, mm-hmm. right? A country that hasn't figured this shit out, like mm-hmm. South Africa, mm-hmm. right? Who do you think is going to be paying? Is it the white people? I'm asking. I don't know. The guy, you know, I don't know these economic things. It so is going to be the wealthy, know. Knox. Okay, the wealthy. Right now, you are being taxed at 45% mm-hmm. as a wealthy human being. So how, what's now what's think the, about what's, it. What's a monthly wealthy thing? Are you getting tax forty five? I think yearly it was people who are earning over five hundred k. Now think about I it. See, I don't even know these things. Think about it like this, then Knox. If you are earning over five hundred k in dollar cents, it's what about forty forty something thirty something thousand dollars, right? That's nothing. That's nothing. Mm-hmm. No, nah? yearly. That's yearly, Knox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nothing. Majority of USA earns over 30k mm. yearly. That's like the average. It's like an average for them. Yeah, but that's a good that's a good low. That's fine. Low, I don't so mind that. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Listen to what I am saying. That's not a low for us. That is a high. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, no? yeah. That's a good low though. <sighs> Listen. Free education will make sure that the wealthy and the wealthy is only thirty thousand dollars by the way mm-hmm. per year people who are earning thirty thousand dollars per year are the wealthy in south africa mm-hmm. those are the people that we consider as wealthy they will be taxed over 70 percent guaranteed if free education is instilled and it will trickle down because less people will open businesses because then less people would want to be wealthy. Mm-hmm. Meaning what? More what? And mm-hmm. in fucking employment. Mm-hmm. That's the harsh truth. The more you tax people, okay. the more likely it is going to happen that what is going to happen? Mm-hmm. the more poor people are going to arise. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you are not going to create the quality jobs that you are supposedly saying is going to occur. Okay. Am I happy with my current government? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. I think my current government is shit. Do I want to vote for DA? No. They have a white leader, unfortunately. And the reality is... I'm a black South African who can't trust white people right now. I'm not comfortable with it right now. I know we just came out of apartheid not so long ago. Nah, fuck that shit. No, y'all are going to play us and say that it's been millions of years. It hasn't. It's still a wound. But I don't hate white people. I don't hold anything against them. Don't get me wrong, right? I'm just saying I'm not ready yet for a white leader, right? That's fair. I can't do it yet. Plus guy said that. Yeah, I can't do that yet. No? Mm -hmm. But right now, I cannot have white people leave this country Mm -hmm. because they still run the economy and they are still the people that are much more intellectual. Unfortunately, Julius Malema, you are a very intellectual human being and you know that very well. And you know that nationalizing the banks would send us into turmoil. You know that land expropriation without, without a compensation would send us into turmoil. You know that foreign, ending foreign exchange with America would send us to turmoil as well because that was, that's our biggest exporters, them and China. You know all of this. You Stop playing us. You know all this shit, right? But yeah. you're a demagogue. You are playing on people's emotions. Yeah. You are so fucked up in the head right now for doing all this shit. No, no, someone has to say I it. I want to say something. But isn't that just like a thing they say, but they... That's my point. Do, He's not do. going to do it. Yes. Yeah. Free education. Mm-hmm. You know that something like that does not exist. You know that you have to implement a loan for students for them to be able to actually go to school mm-hmm. under the government's money. Mm-hmm. You know that you have to do loans instead. Mm-hmm. Not free education. That shit does not exist. Otherwise, you are going to tax everyone to the ends of the world mm-hmm. and at the end of the day there's no results positive results
results from taxing everyone to the end of the day under of the days technically a government is only supposed to tax to an uh, to an extent which it just can do the public works of this country so that this country can operate to its full capacity. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, right now, because you know what happened for us to be able to have these massive tax margins in South Africa? Because our government is fucking corrupt. And he is right about that. Mm -hmm. Julius Malema, you are right. You are right. Yeah, this government should fuck off. Then why is it pissing you off? It's not like it's going to implement But stop telling anything. people lies. Yeah, stop what, doing this. That's what they do. That's what, that's what they all do, aren't they? They always, they always promise they all you do things it. they'll never do. They all do it. Yeah, so if no, you, wait. If you do not better, all of them do it. do it better. Not all of them do it. I told you one politician that came in and said it straight yeah. up. I want power. He said it. That was Gaten well, McKenzie. McKenzie. He came in, he said it, I want power. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I want power. And there was nothing that Gaten McKenzie said, and I looked at it and I was like, oh, that policy is a bit off. Okay. Uh, I, we, I didn't agree with a few of his points, yeah, right? But it didn't mean that his policies were off. Okay. Julius Malema's policies are off He's and you South Africans are just too ignorant. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. We just got to vote for vibes because, you know, because we're all going, ah, they just, he, he said he's going to do, implement this, going to implement that. But we know it's not going to happen. Like, you know, that, you know, a guy like me, I'm like, ah, I know that's not going to happen. So, you know. This is the greatest country in the world. I'll, I'll vote for independent, independent. But you, but you don't like the independent guys. Uh, like, no, like why, why my guys they, independent. Yeah, but I'm right saying now. you don't like them doing like the independent, independent shit because, because it doesn't like work it's right now. Work. It's not a concept that works right now. <laughs> but I don't know. not right now. But what, but what can you do? <laughs> you want us to vote for? Oh. Vote for what you believe. You read more. No more. You got to Before you vote, so it was, no so more. Vote for the person that actually aligns with your policies, so if you with what in, you want this country to be. So if you believe, what if you believe in free education and all oh, yes. this? <coughs> you got to vote for Malema. Know what free education comes with first. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about. I know what free education is going to do. Let me tell you what it's going to do. Free education needs money. And guess what the universities are going to do? As soon as you are allow free education, universities are going to say, oh, good and dandy. We can increase our prices because why the government is paying? Mm-hmm. And once that happens, you're going to have a situation in which now, right? Yeah. You have a whole bill that needs to be paid by the government. Guess who needs to pay tax bills? Okay. The South African citizens. Meaning that what? Higher taxation. But yeah, man, guys, uh, thank you for listening, watching, subscribing, and liking our videos on the on the pod. On the pod. I'm Nox. This is Marubi. Peace out. This is Nox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Is that the song you want? <laughs> <laughs>